Thanks for having me on. Yeah, welcome to uh, welcome to Colorado. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, how do you like it here? It's nice. Very nice. I'm excited to actually have some fall weather for once did too. You, in the did you grow up? Did you grow up in Michigan? Yes. Okay. What part? Uh, Grand Rapids. All right. Yeah. Is that close to where um, you were? I grew up in uh, Down River, Detroit. Okay. Yeah. That's, I think the other side of the yeah, state. Yeah, we're on yeah. the west side of the state. Yeah, you were probably in a better area. Were you on the lake? No. About How far from the lake? Probably 15 miles, oh, okay. 20 miles. That's not bad. In Michigan, there's always a lake like within a couple miles anyway. It's a great place. It's kind of like Denver. Yeah, a lot of water in Denver. Sloan's Lake. Yeah. You got chaff. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so how's, uh, how's camp gone for you so far? Good. Um, you know, just learning, a, you know, a, a new place and, and all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, at the same time, playing football is playing football. So, uh, you know, it's been great being uh, out there and uh, kind of crazy how, how quick things go, you know, kind of kind of winding down the, the training camp phase. You, you played left tackle most of your career. Uh, you're going to play right tackle for the Denver Broncos. Uh, is that a, a big adjustment, or you've been in the league a long time. Can you make that adjustment pretty easily? Yeah, so I got moved there at the beginning of last season and played nine games there and then played the last four games of my season at, back at left tackle. But that being moved over to that right side last year kind of – was able to figure a few things out that, you know, helped me make that, that flip. So coming for this training camp, you know, it wasn't quite as drastic of an adjustment. Without being too technical, what, what couple of things present the, the biggest challenge of making that switch? Um, well, for me, you know, it had been uh, seven, seven years of With your left playing, hand playing left tackle in the pros and then five years in college, you know, zero snaps to the right. So your your body just gets really 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 programmed uh you know from a uh a mechanical standpoint uh and even even your joints your your range of motion uh in, wow. in different areas of your body just kind of gets suited for that so you kind of got to reteach your body you know what to do on that other side if you had to go back to left tackle at any point would that be an easier adjustment for you given how long you played there as opposed to what you're doing now moving to right tackle yeah, it'd be it'd be like riding a bike going back to the other side. So that'd be a really easy transition if that had to happen. Yeah, because it happened last yeah because last year it happened like week ten. And, okay. You know, that Wednesday practice went out there. And, right. You know, just felt like old times. You ever, you ever stop and think about the the unbelievable journey you've been on? I mean, I'm I'm not sure how many guys in the league uh, are from Hillsdale, right? I mean that that's just that. You should be real proud of that, but I mean, has anybody, has anybody else ever played at Hillsdale Community College and, and gone to the NFL? Well, it's not a community college. Let me just take that back. <laughs> has anybody <laughs> ever played at Hillsdale College and, yeah. and gone to the NFL? Uh, yeah. So uh, Howard Mudd, who's you know who's, who had been I, in the I, NFL for a long, long time. You know, I played for Howard. Coach, yeah. So he he was Hillsdale grad. Uh, I didn't. Gosh, I didn't Ch know that. Chester Markall, the kicker. The kicker. <laughs> yeah. With Detroit, right? Oh, yeah. Huh. He is a Hillsdale grad. And then there's another uh, uh, wide receiver, Andre Holmes, who's in Buffalo right now, um, who I actually played on the same team with. So That's amazing. Howard Mudd was the offensive line coach, Rick. I've heard the, the Cleveland name. Browns when, yeah. I was, when I was there. And the guy, I mean, our, our linemen loved him. But that's, that's back in the probably late 70s. That's how long he's been at it. Yeah. We hear you're a big beer guy. Yes. So you brew your own beer? Yep, I like brewing my, my beer in, in, our, in the off time. Uh, do you have uh, any beer that, like, you give it to teammates or at gifts and stuff like that? Because we could use some this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I know it seems early. Or even like after that. this morning, yeah, right? It, like a coffee beer or something? Yeah, yeah, we could, right. yeah if you got something, bring it out. Beer. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, all my stuff's back in, in Michigan right now, all my brewing equipment. you got to get that out here. <laughs> it's, it's too hard to do it during the season. Just, uh, you know, you, that stuff's kind of kind of got to babysit it a little bit. Time intensive. Uh, yeah, and it's just it's fun to do off season. That's for sure. And uh, if if uh, if you guys cross paths, uh, well, I'm a beer drinker, man. I, <laughs> I, I love beer. What's your specialty? IPA, Pilsner, probably IPAs. Yeah, IPAs and pale ales. I like playing around with hops. Yeah, IPA is really hot right now. The craft beer. I'm not. I'm not much of an IPA guy. A more pills lager yeah. type guy. Oh, I love a good pilsner. is fantastic. 
Now, have you seen, you're, you're obviously, if people don't know, uh, Jared's a very big man. Have you seen those pictures of you where they, you're like the Incredible Hulk <laughs> on the internet? Yes. Where they have your, your skin is green. I've seen those pictures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you flattered by that? Because I think that's really cool. Yeah, it's kind of strange seeing yourself photoshopped green, but <laughs> I guess kind of strange, strange, but evidently not for you, it. Rick. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's really cool. That's one of the reasons we wanted to get you on when when we saw that the Broncos signed you, and we were looking uh, looking you up on on the internet and looking at those pictures. Like, look at this dude, man. You're a monster. And then Rick said, and he's green. <laughs> and he's, he's got green skin. <laughs> we got to get him on the show. How much you weighing right now? About three twenty-five. Okay, and you carry that really, really well. Thank you. Yeah. How, how's your body? Because you had some injury issues. I mean, if you play in this league long enough, you're going to have injury, some injuries. But how are you feeling yeah. in this camp? Uh, right now it feels good. Uh, you know, there's nothing that's, that's nagging me. Uh, you know, it's just pretty basic, just training camp soreness here and there, and that's about it. So you're healthy? You're yeah. ready to go this year? Yeah. That's good because uh, the Denver Broncos need you, and we're glad you're on the team. want to welcome you to Colorado and – and hopefully we can get you on again soon and, and drink some of your specialty beer. <laughs> All right. We got to do that. All right. Thanks for stopping by.